Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, continuing my 2021 year-end top 10s as I look to finish my last division, the best division in boxing, heavyweights. As today, I'm going to look at my code number 10 heavyweight in the world right now, contender Otto Wallen. Otto Wallen entered the year not ranked and... You know, what had uh, his highlight of his career was a um, was a somewhat controversial unanimous decision loss to Tyson Fury in uh, 2019. Prior to Fury getting a rematch with uh, Deontay Wilder, Fury got suffered a bad cut in that fight. Wallen really fought well, and there was a lot of people that thought Fury shouldn't have won by the wide scores that he got. And um, you know, so Wallen carrying that credit to his career. He entered the year wanting to, you know, pounce on that because that's his only career defeat. And um, he got the opportunity as he took on former uh, two-time world title challenger, Dominic Brazil. And, you know, heading in, Brazil, the harder puncher, you know, a lot of people thought, you know, Brazil was good enough to beat a guy like Wallen and was kind of a glorified gatekeeper. And Wallen went out there and just dominated Dominic Brazil for 10 rounds. I mean, he just dominated him, or 12 rounds, I'm sorry. One-sided fight, really uh, outboxed, outclassed him, piled up the points, and won easily. Um, but, you know, criticism is abound, and, and um, you know, a lot of people are like, well, he couldn't knock him out. But that's the thing, Otto Wallen's not a big knockout guy. He's 22-1 and one with 14 knockouts in his career. 31 years old, so he's in the prime of his career. But right now, we don't know um, what is going to exactly happen because he had a showdown with Dillian White set for October of 2021. That would have been huge for him if he could pull it off. And I was kind of surprised Dillian White signed on to fight a guy as dangerous as Otto Wallen. Dillian White's done that before, though. So, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have been surprised. But with uh, Dillian White having the opportunity at Tyson Fury knocking on the door, you know, I would assume a lighter opponent, but he was going to take on uh, Wallen, but Dillian White supposedly suffered an injury, a shoulder injury, and pulled out of the fight, assuming that he would probably just go straight into a Tyson Fury mandatory showdown, but uh, Otto Wallen went and, and um, has protested this, and there's a legal issue going on right now on, you know, the validity of Dillian White's injury, and he's dealing with that with the WBC right now, so Otto Wallen's kind of waiting patiently, but he wants to get in the ring and fight a legitimate uh, contender. He's not currently ranked by any, any of the governing bodies, but I think that's going to change really quick, but I, I, I worry that Otto Wallen's not going to get an opportunity in 2022 the guys are going to avoid him because he's a good boxer and he can take a punch as well you know um but you know maybe maybe i hope i get proven wrong i hope somebody in the top 10 grows some balls and wants to fight him and i hope it's uh, some kind of an eliminator of sorts so there could be something at stake that leads him you know that can lead to a world title fight but we got to wait and see what happens and hopefully we find out something soon but that's what I got on my number, or my code number 10, heavyweight in the world right now, contender Otto Wallen, as my 2021 year in top 10s continue. I hope you guys enjoyed this. True boxing, you've been hit with the truth.